Hi, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk and here inside this rather anonymous looking black box um, I have the latest UMPC from Gigabyte um, This is the Gigabyte M528 which is, as I say, a UMPC device running Linux and has a sliding quality keyboard so We'll look at that in a bit more detail in just a second We will have a quick look at what else is in the box although you should take, bear in mind that this is a pre-production unit so a final production model may have different things inside the box. So first of all we get um, a lady's purse. Now actually it is a case for the unit itself which obviously pouch style just slides inside. Um, not sure I'd be terribly happy with it being white. So I appreciate that the device itself here in this case is white and will be available in other colours. Um, I think I'd still prefer to have the case um, maybe in black or you know some other color or some choice of color. So uh, there's also a screen cleaning cloth type thing. So let's give that clean up before we go any further. Yeah, great. And there is a USB to mini USB cable. And finally, a charger, which is not mini USB. It's a proper bullet style charging cable. So that's all there is in this particular box. As I say, because it's pre-production we may actually see um, more, I would expect to see more in the final unit. Um, obviously there's no manual with this one um, and there's also no CD-ROM, nothing like that. So looking at the device itself, uh, as I say it does run Linux. Uh, the screen on the front is a touch screen and it's a 4.8 inch LCD running at 800 by 480 also have a forward-facing VGA camera, which can be used for uh, messaging. Smart key on the side, um, which obviously is going to vary in function, I would assume. Down the right-hand side, there is a small connector, which is used for an external antenna. Nothing particularly on the left-hand side, apart from space for a stylus, which is a small telescopic stylus um, and is pretty well in great really to be perfectly honest with you you'd think the size of the device um, they'd be able to find somewhere to put a proper stylus but sadly I haven't done that. Three megapixel camera on the rear space the little hole which is a reset button and then cover over the chargeable battery compartment and this definitely takes the prize for the biggest removable rechargeable battery that I've seen on this particular style of device. It's huge. Also you can see underneath here there's a SIM card slot because this particular device also uh, is capable of uh, connecting to wireless networks on HSDPA, 3G and so on. This particular model um, is for overseas markets so it doesn't actually uh, work here in the UK but obviously UK models will work with uh, standard UK SIM cards for HSDPA, HSUPA and so on. Charge cable plugs in at the bottom and there is a power button here which is a slider and a switch so you can put it to lock mode and then slide it across and hold it over it should power the device on. Underneath we have that QWERTY keyboard quite a generous size QWERTY keyboard it has to be, has to be said um, it does actually strike, as, strike me as being um, kind of like an oversized mobile phone to be honest with you um, it feels like, feels like a jumbo HTC Touch Pro or something like that really or possibly you know, Titan 2 uh, with that keyboard but they are a nice size uh, size keys um, specification um, is quite good actually uh, there's a 4 gig solid state disk inside which uh, holds obviously the OS there's an Intel Centrino Atom processor which is 800 megahertz there's 512 meg of onboard RAM on the top there's space for a micro SD card and then there's a standard mini USB style connector so you can plug it in and synchronize it with a PC um, but also on this side we have another connector another USB, full size USB so those device connectors are USB host so you can plug in external drives, memory keys, that sort of thing Brocker on the side which acts as a volume control headphone socket and then there's a button, dedicated button for the camera so you can use it take pictures obviously, um, kind of more conventional style 
We have built-in Wi-Fi, which is OK to 11B and G. And as I say, UK model will have HSDPA support with that SIM card slot. Uh, weighs 340 grams, so not the lightest, but it's certainly not terribly heavy. You could probably just about get away with putting that in a large pocket. Um, it's not exactly a shirt pocket device, but you know, considering how how much you can do with a uh, Linux-based um, device with touchscreen and all these additional features, it's it's not bad. It has a built-in browser, it has built-in email support, it's the messaging open office, um, Skype and so forth, but as I say, being Linux, you can actually customise all of those things, download different applications and so on. So over the next couple of uh, couple of days, it's going to be sort of getting my hands dirty with this device a little bit more. Um, also, we're going to be charging up so that we can actually do a bit more of a demonstration of the interface and a review will be online shortly.